Well, the Jets tackled tall task number one of their offseason on Wednesday when they mutually agreed to part ways with offensive coordinator Mike LaFleur. Uh, the unfortunate thing, though, now is that they have to turn their attention to tall task number two, and that one is going to be significantly uh, more daunting because now that LaFleur is gone, the Jets need to find a way to replace him. And touching base with several people in league circles, they do not view this Jets offensive coordinator vacancy as one that is overly desirable. Now, uh, don't get me wrong. There are certainly some appealing aspects to this Jets OC gig. You've got Brees Hall, a really, really good player. Garrett Wilson, really, really good player. Elijah Moore. Uh, if you look at the Jets 2022 season, you see a dominant, dominant defense, which any offensive coordinator would love because it takes some pressure off of his unit. But from touching base with several league sources, there are two things that are going to turn coordinators away from New York, uh, and they are significant. Number one, it's obvious, it's the quarterback position. You know, I know the Jets have spoken glowingly about Zach Wilson uh, in recent days, but the fact is his on-field production, his off-field concerns, uh, that's not really something that many offensive coordinators are going to want to get involved in. Uh, so the Jets are going to have to either show potential coordinators that they have a legitimate quarterback plan uh, or find a potential coordinator that loves Zach Wilson and believes that he can fix him. Uh, the second big thing is that whether the Jets say this or not, there is a pretty obvious playoff mandate with this team. I mean, if Robert Sala doesn't get this team to the playoffs, it is very, very hard to see him keeping his job or Joe Douglas keeping his job, which means that both of those two men's staffs would go with them. So if you're a coordinator looking to get involved, looking to get your first stop, uh, it is a concern when you start getting yourself involved with a team that could potentially be a one-and-done year for you uh, and basically give you no chance to really establish yourself as a coordinator in this league. Now, uh, from my understanding, the Jets are going to cast a very, very wide net to look at potential coordinators, veteran options, young options, young options with a veteran mentor option. We'll see what they turn up. Uh, but considering these two potential drawbacks, as big as that net is, the Jets might have to go with whatever they pull up.